Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a French tack. These are used for connecting one piece of fabric or a lining to another and it will allow them to have a bit of movement to, but to stay in position. It's quite difficult to explain in the written form so this YouTube will be quite handy. I've threaded a needle, now I've used a rather large needle and thick thread to help you see. Um, usually you would just use a normal needle and normal thread that you've sewn your garment up with. I have pulled it through the needle and knotted it with a double end of thread. You then take one of the pieces of fabric and attach it to it and put the needle through again to make a loop. So you have a loop and an end and a piece of fabric. Now we need to weight the fabric because we want to have some tension against that so I'm just using a couple of books to give some tension on that. So you put your, I'm using my right hand thumb and index finger and my left hand has got the other end which can pull it to make the loop smaller and then pull with your finger and thumb to make the circle bigger. So you pull it to make it a bit smaller, grab hold with your finger and thumb of the thread that's gone past in your left hand and pull that through. Then pull the back of that circle so the circle goes apt the old circle goes absolutely small into the first stitch. Put your finger and thumb back through that circle and pull back on your left hand to make that circle smaller and pull through pulling on the back. You'll soon get used to it as you do it and we'll be able to get faster at it. So finger and thumb pinch the thread, put it through, put on the back of the circle and it makes the stitch. It gives you a row of chain stitching which is quite strong to attach the skirt linings at the bottom or shoulder pads uh, linings to the underneath of your armholes on jackets. It can be even used for belt loops on dresses or any kind of um, stronger connection you want between two pieces of fabric. When you've got to the length you want, sometimes around about an inch um, for skirt linings, you will then have a loop and the long thread. You'll pass the needle through the loop and this ties it off, let go of your loop, pull it tight and there you have your chain stitch row tightened off. That can then be attached to your other side of your fabric or for instance here I'm attaching it to the same piece of fabric to, melt, to make a belt loop. You'll then just knot that end off, snip that one off and you've finished. There we have a belt loop and that's your French tack.